What's going on YouTube? Jason right here. Today we're discussing some important stuff if you want to jailbreak in the near future. You should definitely downgrade right now back to iOS 16.4 if you upgraded to 16.4.1 or if you're running 16.5 beta. I'm gonna tell you why in a couple of seconds. This video is brought to you by PassFab iPhone Unlock, a software that allows you to easily unlock your iOS screen passcode if you forgot it, you can reset it by resetting the device, you can remove the Apple ID if you forgot it and even remove the screen time passcode or bypass MD. Now if you set for example an accidental passcode or a screen time passcode and stuff like that and you no longer remember it or maybe your kid set one and they no longer remember it and stuff like that, you can easily reset that and reset the device to get it back working and this supports iOS 16 as well. Do keep in mind that any data that is not backed up to iCloud or to a computer might be lost but the device will be reset and you will be able to use the device normally. They currently have a giveaway 20% off Happy Easter sale that you can check out on their website in here. It also works with MDM as I said if your device is stuck on MDM and it says it's managed by a company and stuff like that you can easily use this as well. Definitely check the program out it's available for both Windows and Mac OS and a free trial is available. The program is pretty simple to use you can see the interface in here very simple you just press start in here connect your device and that's it. Definitely check it out in the link below. So for the moment iOS 16.4.1 and 16.4 are currently signed both of them so you can freely downgrade back to 16.4 with no problem. However 16.4 will not stay signed for so long because iOS 16.4.1 does patch two important vulnerabilities that Apple is aware were actually actively exploited in the wild. So iOS 16.4 is considered in Apple's opinion a very vulnerable iOS version and I do agree with them. There is a WebKit vulnerability here that was actively exploited by hackers and an iOS surface accelerator slash kernel vulnerability that was indeed also used. So these are pretty major however these are also pretty major for the jailbreak community which means that if you're running iOS 16.4.1 they are patched. So I would definitely recommend to go ahead and downgrade right now to 16.4 if you run anything newer than that. BassVT, the creator of Falza Escaped also says quote if you're on 16.4.1 downgrade to 16.4 now. I have no idea if they have any plans for the future for Falza Escaped but they recommend downgrading as well. For 16.4 and lower Linus Hainsey, the developer behind Fugu 15 also released a proof of concept for this vulnerability over here. So it's this one over here, this proof of concept allows you to test the vulnerability and basically panic the kernel, which is a good start. It's not enough for a jailbreak, but it's a good start. But if you update the 16.4.1, it's game over. That vulnerability will not work and neither will the vulnerability for WebKit. But what if you're running anything older like 16.3.1 or 16.3, 16.2 and stuff like that? Well, if you run any older version of iOS 16, stay where you are. The lower, the better. 16.1.2 and lower, for example, grants you access to Kawabunga and to Mug Dirty Cow applications and stuff like that, which, although it's not a jailbreak, like a full jailbreak, it gives you themes and tweaks and stuff like that. For 16.2 and newer, you can use Kawabunga Lite, which is coming for Windows very soon, which also allows you to have themes and stuff like that, but it has way fewer tweaks because the Mug Dirty Cow exploit is already patched on 16.2. So if you're running iOS 16.1.2 and lower, definitely stay where you are. If you're running 16.2 up to 16.3.1 stay where you are but if you jumped the gun and you updated the 16.4.1 or to 16.5 beta definitely downgrade back to 16.4 while you can to do that you can use the IPSW let me show you how to get it you go here to iDeviceCentral.com this is my website you go to iOS signing status and then you select your device let's say iPhone 12 Pro Max and as long as it says in here that iOS 16.4 is still signed you will be able to downgrade how you do that? Well, you press the numbers in here, the build ID of 16.4 for your device, and it will give you the IPSW. As you can see over here, this is the IPSW file. If you start downloading it, you will be able to restore it with Finder or with iTunes to your device, and you will be able to do a proper downgrade. However, once it says not signed, like this one over here, it's no longer possible to do anything. So do it while you can, which is right now. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.